right, soak it in, Undertoads. This thing is from the past, but I I'm pretty sure that even back then, it was from the future. So this thing, I mean, it it's from Parts Unknown. It's the Gamecom from Tiger Electronics. Well, let's take a look at the right side of the Gamecom. And over here you have your face buttons. You have A, B, C, and D, as well as three supplemental buttons, and your on-off switch. And on the other side of the Gamecom, you have your D-pad, uh, which is a circular elevated D-pad. Uh, unfortunately, you know, it's one of those, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of loose, not as responsive as a lot of the D-pads that you would find on uh, the controllers for a lot of retro consoles. Uh, but it is eight directions, so that's helpful for a lot of games. So it is functional. Uh, plus you have your speaker above the D-pad. But what's really interesting about the Gamecom uh, isn't necessarily what's on the sides, as much as what's on the bottom. Now to look at this thing, you might just guess that this is plastic, you know, raised plastic, but wait, it moves. And that's because it actually comes out, and that is because Undertoads. This is a stylus. And of course on the side you have your volume and contrast, which will be especially important because, like the Game Boy before it, the Gamecom has that black and white sort of, sort of puke green screen uh, that can, it can be very hard to see, so you'll adjust that contrast a lot uh, to get it to the sweet spot where you can actually, you know, see what's on the screen. Now on the other side, you have really the third interesting feature of the Gamecom, that being that it has two cartridge slots. Uh, but what's interesting about this, uh, in addition to the fact that, you know, it's really pioneering and sort of predates the Nintendo DS uh, dual cartridge slots by several years, uh, but it also sort of fits in with the adult emphasis of this system. You know, if you're an adult, you don't want to have to carry around a lot of cartridges, uh, you know, if you have one of these things. It's nice to have two cartridge slots, you can plug two fit your two favorite games in, and they're always with you, and then when you load it up, uh, you can choose either, you can go back and forth, you don't have to take one out to play the other. So it's ultra portable, uh, really convenient, and again, very pioneering for a handheld from 1997. Like a lot of advanced handhelds from the mid to late 90s, uh, this thing sucks down the batteries. Uh, it takes four double A's, uh, but they're not going to get you very far. So it's a good thing that, uh, you know, it does have your DC 9 volt in, so you can plug into the wall and just keep playing, which is fortunate. Uh, but what's next to that? That's the interesting part. You see, here we have a COM port. You pop that open, and uh, yeah, that's a COM port. Uh, in 1997, you could plug this thing into a modem, and uh, you could access online features with your Gamecom. You could upload to high score tables, uh, you could surf the web, as long as you plugged in uh, to a modem. But as with a lot of products that are sort of ahead of their time, the Gamecom didn't fare as well at retail as it did conceptually. Uh, in fact, this is one of the worst selling consoles of all time and sold fewer than 300,000 units before it was discontinued. Um, but nonetheless, looking at it retrospectively, what a groundbreaking system. Uh, it introduced a lot of features that are not only common in, in, in gaming today, but are staples, things that are, are, are becoming expected you saw it really in their formative states on the Gamecom, so I'm really excited to get my hands on one of these things finally. And uh, we we have to thank our good pal Chip from Alabama for donating this to us. He sent us this Gamecom as well as a whole box of games that we're going to be digging into here on CGR Undertow. So you know, for all you people, all you Gamecom fans who have been saying, "Oh, Derek, you where where are all your Gamecom reviews?" Well, calm down, because we're going to get to them. Thanks to Chip, and thanks to the Gamecom. Man, this thing is video game history. So cool.